Hey everybody, BrickLover18 here today with my first FAQ Friday Ask Questions here on Ask Brick. Bricks for me asked, what inspired you to start YouTube? I was really inspired to start YouTube because I saw a lot of people on YouTube like making videos about the Lego creations they made, about their Lego rooms, about Lego set reviews and like how to make certain Lego things and that really inspired me because I could do that. I knew I had a lot of Lego, I knew I had a cool setup down in my basement at the time and I knew that I could make Lego videos just like they were because I thought it would be a really fun idea. I didn't start YouTube with any intentions of making a profit or even growing a fan base. I just wanted to start YouTube because I knew that I could do the videos that they were doing. No, Nobody in particular inspired me to start YouTube, it was just the fact that what, the people were making cool LEGO videos and I wanted to like jump on that train. LEGO Carson asks, do you like anything other than LEGO? I do. I really like photography. I like free. I like making videos. I do like make movies or stuff like that with friends. Like that's a lot of fun. But other than that, hobby-wise, oh, I like to read. I can't forget about that. But a lot. No, Lego is definitely my main hobby. And I think if I had too many more hobbies, I wouldn't have time for them. That's why I mainly only do Lego. Lego RS. Would you start a shout-out series? The idea is from Brick Tin. Brick Tin. I really like that series. You're probably watching this video. I think it's a great idea. But no, I don't have any intentions of starting a pure shoutout series, mainly because I just don't like shoutouts. I do like giving small channels exposure, so that's what, like, if you comment on my video, hey, I make, like, Lego room tours or, or Lego city updates, you should check mine out. You know what? I don't really care if you do that. That's perfectly fine. I just don't like when you're begging me to subscribe to you. Like, hey, I'll do shoutout for shoutout. Just comment, hey, everybody. But... I do this, but don't do it on every video because that just gets annoying as well. So maybe if on a couple videos, like say I make a city tour, hey, I just uploaded my city tour, why don't you go check it out? That's perfectly fine because then the people in my comments can all go check it out. Hopefully you'll grow your fan base a little more. The closest thing I do to a, like a shout out series is Ask Brick or Brick Lover 18 Asks You. So you could definitely answer a question on Brick Lover 18 Asks You and I'll read your answer out if I like it. As well, you got a shout out now, Lego RS, just because you asked a question and I'm answering it on video. Nix Brick asked, Why did you start a Lego City? I didn't, when I, way back in like 2008, I didn't start a Lego City so much as I made, I had a police station and I had a green base plate and I had a, look, a gray base plate. So I kind of made a, I remember a helicopter pad on the gray base plate and like a coffee shop on the green base plate and it just kind of evolved from there. I remember then making more like city scenes in my living room and just more setups and it moved to the point where I finally got a table because the, the Lego sets on the floor were getting dirty because they do have pets so they would get like hair in them. So I got this train table that I had lent to my cousins but they don't need it anymore because they got their own train table. So that's what I started on. I, you know, put my Lego City in there with my buildings. Again, wasn't really a city. But then I started watching like Lego City videos on YouTube, and that's when I started to expand my city. And now I have a table that was built specifically for a Lego City. Marless asks, "Can you buy Lego Minecraft, or are you don't you like it?" I do like Lego Minecraft. I have one Lego Minecraft set. I used to have two. But the other one was just taking up space, so I actually sold it for more than the retail value, so that was pretty cool. I sold that locally, I didn't even post that on Brooklyn because I posted it and sold it the same day. But I have the classic, you know, Lego Ideas Minecraft set. It's a cool set, I like it. Do I plan on getting more Minecraft? Not really, just because I'm more of a Lego City builder. So I try and buy like mainly Lego City, Lego Creator sets, but I'm not opposed to buying Minecraft. Like if I got it as a gift, I'd love it, but I'm not gonna go out of my way to buy it. Doctor Who Ate My Bacon, was there ever a time you wanted to stop your YouTube channel? No, not really. There's never been a time that I really wanted to stop my channel. There's been times where I've been frustrated with my channel. I've been maybe frustrated with the fellow YouTubers I share YouTube with because sometimes things just go, get a little too out of hand. I've been frustrated when there's been times where I produce a really cool video and it instantly gets 10 dislikes. That's always a pain in the butt because you work so hard on something and now 10 people all of a sudden don't like it. I get frustrated when with YouTube when people don't like to support other YouTubers. I posted a huge rant on Instagram, like you should check that out. But like when I say here here's an advertisement, 
I'd love if you check out the person's website and then you purposely don't check out the person's website because I asked you to. I don't like when that happens. But no, there's really never been a time where I wanted to quit YouTube. I really like doing YouTube videos. There also is times where I'm frustrated with YouTube because I want to get a cool video out but I just don't have time. So then I feel like bad because I didn't get a cool video out. And everybody always says, oh, don't worry about it. It's fine. But it's not fine because I wanted to make a cool video. I don't know this user's name. It's not showing up in my email. But it says, will you ever do another room tour video? Yes, I definitely will do another room tour video. I plan on doing it very, very soon. Like January, February at the latest. But as you can see right now, my Lego room is an absolute pig side. Like, this is horrible because I have been so busy lately, and last week I decided instead of doing anything productive in the library room, like cleaning, I decided I was going to rip apart my city and redo that. So that was cool, that looks great, but the rest of the room does not. As soon as I get the room cleaned up, I will make a video. So again, this user is not showing up in my email, but they say how do you get a lot of subscribers on YouTube? I don't know the answer to that one, so as soon as you know, please let me know. Benji asks, will you ever do a face reveal? I have shown my face in a couple videos. I don't like showing my face in videos because this video, this channel is about Lego and not about my face. But you'll be able to see my face because I am going to Philly Brickfest and I don't think I'll be able to hide my face there. A lot of people will need to know what I look like to see me there, so I will show my face there. The creator asks, what is a theme you wish Lego would make? I definitely wish LEGO would make a more city theme that wasn't just police and fire. I wish it would be an actual city theme. You know, skyscrapers. I don't care how much they cost. I just want cool skyscraper sets. I want cool police stations that have back walls. I just want buildings in general that have back walls. I want schools. I want public transport stations that don't cost $200 a set. I want maybe cheaper city sets but more city sets I don't know it's a really hard big dilemma because a lot of the cool city sets are still $200 but it frustrates me because they don't even have a back on them a lot of the time I just want cooler city sets I don't want a whole new theme but just cooler city sets okay so we're at like 10 minutes here on my camera I don't know how long it'll be on yours by the time I edit it down but I think I'm gonna end the Friday question and answers video there Thanks to everybody so much for your questions. I believe I got through most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. So if you have a question that you want me to answer on next week's episode, please leave it down in the comments below with the hashtag AskBrick or FAQ. Thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed.